Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash. Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of his only begotten Son, who this world ignorantly called Jesus, and the Rechakwadash is the Holy Spirit in the ancient paleo hebrew tongue and i also want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and who teach well and I also want to say shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of yahweh bashmel shai i also want to say shalom to the innumerable multitude the men women and children who yahweh bashmel shai will show mercy upon in these last days and i'm the brother my ite gabar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp, and I'm coming back with another Lord's willing, edifying lesson to feed the sheep of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai unto the best of my ability. And the inspiration for doing this lesson, of course, is through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. You know, but the Lord put the spirit on me to read uh, John the 16th chapter, and you know, John 16 verses 20. Through 22 really stuck to me. So I was going to read um, John, the 16th chapter. I'm going to read verses 20 through verse 22. It's going to be a short, quick lesson. And again, I pray that this lesson is edifying unto the hopeful elect. So this is John chapter 16, verse 20. Verily, verily, I say unto you that ye shall weep and lament right who is that ye speaking about That's speaking about the elect right because the elect we are in a state of mourning all right ezekiel 9 and 4 right the lord says mark those men who are sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof all right and that mark that that uh, it was mentioned about in Ezekiel 9 and 4 is a spiritual mark, a thawa. In the Hebrew, it's thawa, which, which means a mark of exemption. And Lord willing, we have that mark of, of exemption because the time of trouble is coming. The world, is, the world is about to change. America is about to change. Times are about to change. Ain't gonna be no more mirth. Ain't gonna be no more partying, turning up. Times are about to get really, really bad here in America. It's gonna be famines of food, famine of, of hearing the, the, the word. It's gonna be chaos in these streets, martial law, lawlessness, civil unrest. The love of many waxing cold. But those men who are weeping, they're going to be exempt from the judgment. Just like Noah, he was out there prophesying for over 100, 100 years. Him and Noah and his family was preserved from the destruction. Lot. He was preserved from the destruction and the elect is going to be preserved from this destruction because World War Three is on the horizon. This is Ecclesiastes seven and verse three. That's actually let's start at two Ecclesiastes seven and two. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For well, that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart. So it's better to go to the house of mourning. So we are in the right spirit. You brothers, you sincere uh, sisters, you are in the right spirit. All right, Lot, he, Lot, he, he, it say he was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. We know Lot was a just man. 
He was a righteous man. Yahweh Shai was a righteous man. Noah was a righteous man. So we are in the right spirit. We shouldn't be in the spirit of mirth and feasting, partying and drinking. And we are in the days of Noah all over again, except this bitch is going to burn by way of fire. Let's go back to John. John 16 and 20. Verily, verily, I say unto you that ye that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice. Is that not the state of these people? Are they, are they not rejoicing going on about their lives like nothing is going on in the world? And that's why Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, his true name is Yahweh Shai, which means he saves and he delivers. They, when he walked earth, was he was he partying and drinking and turning up? No. It says in Isaiah, the 53rd chapter, that the Lord, he was acquainted with grief. First Peter, the, the fourth chapter says, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. It says, and ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. And that's comfort. That's comforting. We're not doing this work in, in, in van and vanity. We're not suffering for nothing. Because when Yahweh Shah comes, Romans 8 and 6, 16 says, We shall be joint heirs with him. Yahweh Shah is still, still suffering. He ain't suffering like he was on that cross, but you know, the Lord says, Vengeance in, is in his heart. He's angry with the wicked every day. He coming back to pierce those who pierced him. But our sorrow is going to be turned into joy. Revelation is the 20th chapter. Because we're going to be, Lord willing, we be at that number. We're going we're gonna to be saved. We're going to be delivered from these chains of darkness, which is this flesh. We ain't gonna be subject to, to sin anymore. We're not gonna have to be oppressed by this wicked ass uh, man, this wicked, this wicked devil, Esau. It's Revelation 20, 21 and 4. And the most high shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And this is gonna come in the kingdom. This is gonna come when the Lord gathers up his elect from the four corners of the earth. All the pain, all the sorrow, all the heartbreaks. The Lord is going to heal you. He's going to heal you, brothers. He's going he to heal the sincere believers. It says, and, and there shall be no more death. No more death for the, for the nation of Israel, beginning with his elect. Because two-thirds, 66.6%. .6 of the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, the Israelites are going to die here in Babylon. The same must know me after death by pain, but the elect, starting with the elect, there will be no more death, no more being martyrs, no more being, uh, being afflicted. And it says, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. All right, right now we 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 catching hell. We are catching hell. Brothers cry. Get your heart broken. Subject into payments. You know? Women, these women ain't right. Our children need need salvation. Our fathers and our mothers need deliverance and and they, and they need to be uh, deliver to the kingdom of heavens is the solution to all of our problems. 
John 16 and 21. A woman, when she is in travail, have sorrow because that hour has come. All right, when that woman, water break, she going into labor, she delivering that child. She, she going through sorrow. She's catching hell. Painful. All right. It says, but as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish. For joy that a man is born into the world. Right, so after that woman delivers that child, she don't remember that pain no more. And that's how we're going to be when we deliver from this captivity. Once we be delivered out of the hands of our enemies. That's how it's going to be. All right. First Peter four. Let's get that real quick. First Peter four. And 13, it says, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of a Mashiach suffering. There's millions, billions of Israelites. But the Lord has gave us this truth. The Lord has gave us the gift of faith. And that's something to, to, to be to be rejoicing about. That's something to um be grateful about we got the truth you walk past these israelites every day they in darkness a lot of these niggas are sodomites these niggas got dreadlocks tattoos smoking weed and the lord he's using us as, as his righteous vessel that's why we got to continue to pray See how about Shemal Shah to keep the Holy Spirit upon us. It says, when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Hey, when Yahushua comes, he going to receive his, he going to receive his, his um, honor and glory. And you brothers are going to be joint heirs with him. And this is why we got to continue, you know, to, to do this work day in and day out, week in and week out, because days are speeding up. And it's speeding up for the elect sake. Let's close out with John 16 to 22. And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again. Hey, we catch a hell. You cry. You know, you deal with your afflictions. But the Lord says, I'm going I'm to see you again. All right, when you have a shot, I see you brothers again. He's going to put crowns on your heads. Good job, my faithful servant. Come hither. Hide you! I'm 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 a hide you. You gonna be in this? You gonna be in in this chariot with me, watching the destruction of America? It says, "In your heart shall rejoice." Right? Our minds are gonna rejoice, man. It says, in your joy, no man taketh from you. You know, nobody can take. What we have away from us. Esau can persecute us. He can lock us up. He can cut off our heads. He can uh, take away our car. He can take away your job. He can take away your woman. He can take away your children. He can't take away this truth if we are the elect. So with that, I'm going to close out by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power. Yahweh Bahashom. Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechak Radash. Want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Those men that are doing his work in sincerity and in truth. And also want to say Shalom to the newer multitude, the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashem Shai will show mercy upon in these last days. The Wadi Bashem Shai for giving me the spirit of truth. The Wadi Bashem Shai for giving me the Holy Spirit. The Rechak Radash to make this lesson. Lord is willing. Until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom to Baba Ball. DTA, Kwam Yashala, Shalom.